It's important to see that the operations that we're involved in from now on are not going to be linear in nature. We're going to be conducting concurrent operations. Afghanistan wasn't one operation. It was one of many operations in the context of broader international efforts. And even within Afghanistan, there were different lines of effort. So we need to be able to see past particular parts of the mission, say the security mission or the diplomatic mission or the aid mission, and to see them as a part of a greater whole, meeting not only national strategic objectives, not only the objectives of the coalition that's deployed, but very importantly, the requirements of the host country or host countries where you find yourself involved. The Afghan Lessons Learned Report is one of our major products. I say that because it's probably the largest piece of work we've done in terms of looking at Australia's performance over a decade-long period. It's important that we do this work because we feed it back into the decision policy-making cycle that exists within government. That's something that goes on all of the time. This particular report took a longitudinal analysis of a 10-year period of Australia's uh, developing commitment to Afghanistan. It looked at the different challenges that emerged during that period, and it came to a number of conclusions. It's not history, but it is perhaps the first draft of history. It's most important for us in government because it gives us in government the opportunity to comprehend what is happening as it happened and to feed that back into the policy process. There are a number of things that came out of it, but perhaps most importantly from my perspective was the understanding that we need to have high-level strategic policy alignment for offshore uh, contingencies, and we need to establish that early in an operation. We need to match that with uh, cross-agency coordination of all of our activities, which means establishing uh, institutional methodology to establish and, and share information. And that effectively means setting up cross-agency task forces to manage crises. And then it has to filter down to the field environment where when people are deployed into an operation environment, such as Afghanistan, they understand their place in the overall Australian and international coalition model and that they understand the role that they will be playing effectively in a team effort to achieve the objectives of the operation.